Hello everyone, this is Erin and welcome to my channel. So if you are a returning subscriber or watcher of videos, you recognize this is not my standard setup because I am in Las Vegas in my Airbnb and I forgot my ring light when I was packing. But there's this restaurant I've heard of called Jollibee's. It's some Filipino fast food and everybody's been talking about it. So I have what they call the chicken joy, which is spicy chicken. I also have the, it's gonna tip over. I have spaghetti that has hot dogs in it. I have a peach mango pie. I have the pineapple refresher and I have some gravy that you're, apparently you're supposed to dip into the chicken. 10 the best thing ever. Now you got a way to get it. Seven, seven and a half. I consider buying it again. Five barely edible and zero just the worst thing ever. So I'm gonna go for a piece of chicken first. First I'm gonna try the chicken without the gravy and then with so I can see what it's like. I did get spicy for both pieces, by the way. Mm. It's similar to what I would expect from like a Popeyes. If I was blindfolded and somebody, or if somebody just gave me this piece of chicken, it would taste like Popeyes did something a little bit different. It's really good fried chicken. I'll give it a... I'll give it a 9 by itself, just by the chicken. Now let me try it with the gravy. Because apparently this is like some special gravy. <laughs> this is some good gravy. I'm glad there's not one in Wichita because this is dangerous. The chicken's good by itself, but when you dip it in this gravy, nine point seven. That's dangerous. So let me try the spaghetti. Now, um, this is different from what is, is traditionally served in America. It's spaghetti, and as you can see, it has, as I mentioned, hot dogs and just a little bit of cheese. And people talked about how it was sweet, and I'm not real big on sweet meat. Hopefully that came out right. Let me see what this is like. Um, it's not bad. The chicken definitely is my favorite of the two things that I've eaten. I would get it again, but I wouldn't be in a rush to get it again. It's just because for me personally, it's just not all the way where it needs to be. Like that chicken. That chicken was good, but this spaghetti, I'll give it. Seven point four. I wouldn't ask for my money back and I will possibly get it again. But it definitely would not be the first thing that I got back from the restaurant. Now it's time for the pineapple juice. They call it a pineapple quencher. And it was originally cold when I got it and not watered down. But the transportation, the public transportation of Las Vegas is not the best. I'll just say that and leave it there. So if this drink is watered down, I'll put that into consideration because... Let me just try it.
I can't give a fair rating because mine is watered down. I can't give it a fair rating. Okay. Now let me try the peach mango pie. I like peaches. I like mangoes. So just looking at it, it puts me in the mind of the pie that you used to get from Popeyes. Those hot cinnamon apple ones. Let's see how it tastes. If I have some good vanilla ice cream to go with this. I'm glad there's not one in Wichita because I'd be 300 pounds. This is amazing. This is. The outside is just a traditional crust. But both the peach and the mango, they complement each other. So often when restaurants try to mix flavors together, one overshines the other or overpowers the other. But this is the perfect blend between peach and mango. So if you have a Jolly Bees in your area or if you're out of town and you hear about Jolly Bees, go back for this chicken. I'm going to finish this and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I'm going to eat it the way I really want to off the camera. But if nothing else, go back and try the chicken and the peach mango pie. They did have some sort of pasta as well, but it had boiled eggs in it and I don't do boiled eggs at all. But yes, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and let me know if you have ever had Jolly Bees and what you think of it. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.